All righty. So today, uh, I want to ask you the question. Who is the best unit in Dokkan right now? Who do we think is better between the two characters on the screen? Uh, you guys can see on your screen, uh, I decided to put out a tweet or an, a Z, an X, whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, I put out this question, uh, who do y'all think is better asking for a video? And that is this video now. Now, right off the bat, I think Beast Gohan is a better character, but I want to hear the other side of the argument. Now, why is there another side of the argument? Well, with the release of the Worldwide Download Celebration LRs, um, we have Broly and then the Super Saiyan Trio. And the Super Saiyan Trio does this uh, spectacular thing where they give a metric ton of support. And with this metric ton of support, <laughs> um, it's making a lot of characters that previously were not good, good. And when I say good, I don't mean they're as good as Beast Gohan. I mean, they can take normals now in hard content. And I think that is very impressive to show the type of support that this character has. And that has sort of been kind of the um, big thing with this character, right? But like I said, I believe Beast is still the best character in the game. So what I wanted to do was ask you guys. And I put this on Twitter and uh, it ended up getting some pretty decent engagement here. You guys could see uh, typically when I do community reaction uh, things, we do not have this many uh, interactions, replies, and all that stuff. And I know there's like some people arguing in the comments, but we're not going to go through all of those. Uh, we're just going to hear arguments for both sides. And I think it will just kind of be fun to further interact with you guys. So if you want to further participate in content like this, uh, feel free to follow me over on Twitter. And that is the same at as it is over here on YouTube at Vilify. You can see right here, here's everything that you need to see for it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I put out the tweet. Who do y'all think is better? Yada, yada, yada. I already said that. So let's get into it now. Right off the bat, Mr. Baby giving a very uh, eloquent and uh, detailed response uh, asking, you know, answering the question. Right. He said Broly. Right. And then with a gif of Broly, we know we, we all know Mr. Baby's the Broly guy. Right. So, you know, kind of just messing around. I said, it's a good thing. I didn't ask who one was. Right. I was just asking who was better. And as you can see, I ratioed Mr. Baby with that. But, you know, it's it, it, it's all fun and games. Love you. All right, so I think individual to individual, it's clearly beast, but it's hard to argue against the Super Saiyan trio for me because support skills have so much versatility and they have seen like the best support by a wide margin with all the units getting stronger again, thanks to them. So I'm going to say them now with this. Um, I think that there is, like I said, I think this is kind of the idea that I was kind of trying to uh, put forth uh, or a minute ago, right, where support skills have so much versatility it's like yeah i feel that but like at the same time it's not like beast doesn't give some form of support right like with the th i think that like the three key is just so valuable and like obviously like you could say the same thing about the super saiyan trio but um i don't want to get into the like complete specifics because if i do like two minutes on each point will be this is a long like you guys saw there was like 68 comments here that's a lot for me so <laughs> you know individual i think yeah like so when we're talking about who is the better character i think it's beast gohan but like i also like I don't value too much um, as much of like I can make a unit look better to I don't have to worry about a unit, right? Because the reality is, like I said, with the support that comes from the Super Saiyan trio is, yeah, the defensive stat is higher, but they're still losing to supers, right? And, you know, what is a way to potentially avoid a character losing from a super? The Beast Gohan taunt. Um, so I think that's just more valuable, but like he said, like individual to individual, it is Beast Gohan. So he is on that side. I don't know what side he's on, honestly, with this, because he says individual to individual, it's clearly Beast. And that's the question that I'm asking here. But then he also says, I'm going to say the Super Saiyan trio. So I'm going to put this guy on the fence. I don't know what he's thinking here. I don't know what his, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what Sky Knight's, uh, a final verdict is here, but you get the idea. I appreciate the comment. So this guy says, I don't know. You tell me. And I don't know this this doesn't feel misleading but this also doesn't feel like very genuine like this is a um a type advantage character with guard and then this character right here you guys can see that like this is not the same thing like you know this is it, it's just different like the turn one with this character is not where they're going to be showing their true value but i do understand what you're saying and i also don't think the goku and piccolo um, attack like the Goku and Piccolo fight is going to be like the new bar where we're evaluating characters, right? Because this was like the freest no item run that I've had, like with all the um, new blue zone fights, right? So, um, I think there is a point to be made here that they don't look good in here because this is not the hardest stage in the world, but this was also just not their situation. So, um, I don't think this is the best way to argue it, but again, sure, I, I can see what you get you're getting at here, but 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Violet says safest unit, beast, most valuable, Super Saiyan Trio. And you see, I like this Violet. I like where they're thinking. Peak of the game, Tech UMUI Goku with Domain. Yeah. But no, seriously, um, I, I do see the point that they're trying to get at here with... Um, it's kind of hard to rank them with numbers because they do insane things in different aspects. Exactly. To be honest, I like utility type units rather than defensive god, so I am the trio. Okay, I think that's fair. Um, I think that the, just like the thing with the with Beast Gohan though is like we we can't ignore that's like the, we can't just pretend this character doesn't have utility, right? Like this is a character that is giving key every time they get or for the first hit that they take, they're giving the rotation three key, and then they're also giving crit support on the unit super attack. They're being they're able to provide utility with the taunt where they could protect characters that would potentially take a super. Uh, it's redirecting attacks like I don't I don't want to just like act, like I think if you're just like evaluating Beast as a character that is just defense like I don't think you're really um, taking full advantage of what that character can do. So I, I do agree with what you're trying to get at with this, and I also agree with you. Peak of the game tech MUI Goku domain. Yeah, the ally, you're thinking you're thinking my language here, Violet. So thank you. <laughs> um, I'll say Beast still feels better. While the trio Super Saiyan, uh, the Super Saiyan trio, effectiveness heavily depends on whether or not they're on their own team. Certain category allies and a 24 key or not, Beast is just you put him on the team and he simply works. Yes, I agree with that as well. Be this Super Saiyan trio is very reliant on the 24 key from what I can tell. Um, and Beast Gohan obviously is not. And then Beast uh, with this team, like he said, you have to run double of them. You have to put them on their team. You have to set things up properly. And it can be a little bit of a nuisance, right? When you have to think about your team building to revolve around your leader, it can be a bit frustrating where Beast Gohan is kind of plug and play. You know, you think about characters like Evolution Blue Vegeta. You think about characters like MUI Goku. You think about characters like Tech UI Goku. Like, they are not reliant on other category allies that are going to make them better. Will they make them better? Yes, but you don't need them, right? Like, it's not like the character is going to be, like, three times worse without them, right? So it's like, you know, I also think that the 24 key thing is a little bit silly because it is... Um, they are an orb changer on their own. So it's like, you know, 24 key isn't going to be the hardest thing to get, but like, obviously that's not always going to be consistent, right? So like that can be a bit annoying. And I think that that's one like thing that I think that is one point that goes against them. Like, like it's the same thing with physical God Goku, right? Like we can say that this character is self-sufficient because they're an orb changer, but it's not like every single time you're going to be getting that 24 key, or you're going to be getting those six orbs, right? It's not like every single time you use this character, they're going to be getting 24 key, right? It's very hard to not get the 24 key with Beast Gohan uh, on like the first turn, just with the way he's formatted with the three key extra keeper orb, the amount of key that he starts out with. I think that is a big point. So bow. I appreciate that. Um, I do see what you are saying. So thank you, uh, Greg. Uh, or Lucario Kid, whichever you prefer. Gohan is stronger, but the trio has insane value in being able to enable units that have otherwise aged out viability, inviability, uh, which is incredible for the health of the overall game. We definitely need more releases like them. Well, I think Gohan does very similar things. Like, it's it's like, I guess like with numbers, I, I, I see what your point is. Like, it's way cooler to see Tech Gogeta hit for 25 million or whatever, whatever you can get him up to, right? Uh, which Gohan cannot do. Um, but I think that, like, a character like Beast Gohan still, like, is not, like, unhealthy for the game, right? Like, I think that the, you know, when we talk about a PvE game, uh, I do understand what you're saying. Um, but, like, there also is, like, the point to that, right? Where, uh, like, you think about, like, the ninth anniversary, you ask everyone who, like, what team are they rocking with right now? They're going to send you some variation of the Beast Gohan team with the Gammas, the Six Years, Evo Ken, Gogeta, Broly, and then fill in the blank for whatever, like, you know, fifth or sixth unit that you have, right? And with this, now people are going to be able to kind of see, it's like, oh man, like these characters do have extra value, but I still don't know if that puts makes them like the better unit, right? I think it just gives you a different way to play, and I think that that is fun. So I will agree with you on that one, Greg. That That's the beauty of this discussion, right? I don't want this to be like a, you have to pick, I, I, already, I know I said this with Sky Knight, but like, you have to pick a side of the fence that you're on and you have to argue that, right? I think at the end of the day, it, 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 it's good that we can just have fun and enjoy this PvE game the way we want to. And I think that the trio does give you more freedom to do that. And I think that is very good for the game, like this guy said. So thank you for the input, uh, Greg. Uh, I think it's close, but the trio just ain't as invincible to Beast to my liking. Uh, sure. Yeah, I think we've, we, we've talked about that. Gohan is definitely more the individual character. So to me, they are very close. But um, yeah, I, I think that's fair. I think the more useful uh, team winning character is go, uh, the trio. These may be better in a vacuum, but the support from the trio is something we've never seen before, and it lifts the whole team up. Well, you know what else lifts the whole team up? Being able to protect characters from supers and normals. I think that's. I think Beast Gohan has done something like that before, but I do see what you mean. Uh, both. To me, they're the same level, but only when playing uh, two of the new trio in the same team as leaders. So, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, that's a point right there, right? Where. Um, 
the Beast Gohan is you don't need to do that, right? Well, you, you want to do that, but you don't need to do that. They can tank pretty well. Basically, everything the game has to offer one per turn means the whole team gets a double plus 77 percent defense for a total 154 percent defense. Always. Yeah. 154 percent defense always is very, very, very good, right? Like that is I, I, I can't like I can't downplay how good that is. And please don't take me like I'm that I'm trying to downplay this character. I just prefer Beast Gohan, but I do get what you're saying, right? I, I think that they, there's some and some good arguments here, right? Uh, it's tough. On one end, Gohan individually is still probably the best in the game, sure. Uh, but at the same time, the trio gives so much support that legit every character on the team is Giga Buck. It's going to vary from person to person and how they value things in the game. Yes, I think that that is a very valid point, Bredo. Um, it does come down to a person to person basis. And I think that's the beauty of this being a PvE game where there isn't like a meta that you have to play by at all times. And uh, freedom is uh, really good. We, we all love freedom, right? I'm an American. I love freedom. I'm sure we all love freedom. So... That is good that we have that, and um, that's what the Super Saiyan Trio is bringing to the table, and that is why we are having this discussion in the first place. Uh, the Super Saiyan Trio IMO, the support they're giving out is too valuable, sure. Uh, just one of them can elevate a team like Earth Red Fighters decently well defensively, but having two of them feels like overkill. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Like, it, it, it has, doesn't T2 Beast Gohans just feel like easy mode? If this character makes it feel like it's overkill, that's probably a good thing for how the character's going to be. Uh, I like that point. Uh, two of them feels like overkill. The beauty of a PvE game is there's no such thing as overkill. That's why we love it. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, elevate the team like Earthbred Fighters. I think with Earthbred Fighters, that team just needs like a legit, like relevant leader again, and that team is like just so bad. Uh, I think it's the trio because they make a ton of units relevant again. Yeah, we we keep hearing that point. A ton of units relevant again. That's what it seems that people are a big fan of the uh, relevancy of older characters because they obviously have pulled them multiple times and they can use them again and i think that's you know th th this is like a uh, a very light pseudo easy a right where these numbers are going like being cranked way up like yeah that's a good point uh the super saiyan trio gohan is better defensively without standby and he has the taunt uh but the amount of support and offensive power they have on top of slot wing capabilities may prefer these guys over beast gohan yeah i get that that makes sense i think it's gohan but the trio is mega elite yes uh, solo unit beast in double lead and what they add to the team the the, the, the truo I, I think they mean trio uh beast the main reason being his taunt it's far more reliable of the team protection mechanic than the trio support uh fully agree with that um it's just the, the 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 difference i guess the argument that you could make is the beast taunt is technically only one turn or two turns if you're running two of them i think that's the counter to that beast feels better and less restrictive you throw him on any team and any team he just works uh and he could have one link activated and still put in work indeed uh, Beast as a solo unit just feels better. Super Saiyan Trio makes everyone so much stronger. The support is just incredible. I would say I love the trio more, but Beast come close to them. Broly is best. Waiting for part two to have his true team, though. Yeah, I, I think we, we talk about Broly. Um, Broly might be like, you know, we, we get like a, a slot one defensive, like a true slot one defensive character um, that we can just toss. Like, it doesn't even really matter because Broly can do that as well. But we just get like a better, a couple better partners for Broly and a, a couple better units to add onto that team. Like, we're really in business, right? Like, obviously, Broly has his slot one defensive capabilities. Uh, Gohan, it's not even close. Uh, I disagree with that. I think it is close. Both are busted, so it just comes down to who is more consistent and comfortable to use. And to me, that is Beast. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, they're different from one another. Yes, that's... Uh, this is like comparing what Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku do defensively, right? Where... Evolution Blue Vegeta and UI Goku offensively are basically the same character, but uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta has the more traditional tanky value when UI Goku has the Bob and Weave type of value, right? I think that makes sense. And these are different characters, right? Um, Beggar Goku. That's a new one. I didn't know who he was talking about, but Standby Goku supports the team to a degree that makes old ass units usable in current events and deals in same damage. Both are number one. If you want to go 1A, 1B, I am fine with that. I like support. support I can't talk. Support units more. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so um, at 55%, I think Beast is better. You really want to build them full crit at 55%, and then their fish, their finish is kind of useless. That They're talking about the trio here. Uh, meanwhile, Beast taunt isn't affected by being 55%. Yeah, still Beast, but not by much. Uh, would argue Beast himself is better, but the trio has a better impact on a team, which is kind of crazy since Beast is a top two slot one unit and has target. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, I still believe Gohan is better, but damn, the trio is so, so useful. Yeah, so I think like... People are kind of coming to the same point here, and you know I've been kind of reiterating that. I mean, I'll keep going, but like so far, what I'm getting from this video is that people are really into the beast is better individually, but what the Super Saiyan trio brings to the table is more valuable, and I think that that is a fine argument. 
Uh, I feel like they're 1A and 1B, respectively. Gohan has his team protection, and the trio does the same thing. Give her one defense. Yeah, so they have team protection. Wow, I cannot talk. Team protection in different ways, right? Where Beast Gohan, <laughs> I guess, like, what's the way to do it, right? Let, let, let's let's use the, the teach a man to fish analogy, right? Uh, Beast Gohan is catching the fish for the individuals with the taunt, right? But it's almost like the... Um, uh, the Super Saiyan trio is teaching the man to fish with giving them more valuable defense so they can fend for themselves, right? I think that's kind of a good way to put it. Uh, the one that could protect the rotation for two turns when running double of him, sure. And his team has units that hit way harder than him, even if some bosses were to stun slash seal the taunt. I don't know what you mean by that last point. But I do understand what you're saying with the first one, which is fair. I honestly still think it's easily Beast Gohan. Uh, running that guy makes me feel as safe as a newborn baby cuddling in between my mom and dad in their bed. That's a hell of a way to put it. You could have just said, uh, I feel like I'm not going to lose this run, but you said it, not me. <laughs> my argument for the trio. Similarly, my Tech Vegeta at 55% took 100k from a 3.7 million super with four stacks, double trio support, and, and Bulma support. Okay, so let's let's talk about this one. 100k from a 3.7 million super with stacks, 154% support, and Bulma support, which is pretty realistic. So... In the absolute best scenario for this character, they tank, which is good, uh, I guess. But that is a that is a bit uh, when it comes to what we're talking about here. Like, you know, it's also like you're getting an additional buff from Bulma. So it's like, you know, it's not all just a unit. But I do see what you're saying. Uh, Gohan lost the spot to Tech UI, Broly and the trio. I just hard disagree with this. Uh, Tech UI turn one is nowhere near as consistent as Beast Gohan is. Uh, the trio, I value units that are better near the end of the fight. Uh, their standby is damn near invincible. It can provide crazy defense support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Beast is a lot better turn one, but their defense jumps up once you get their first 18 key. Yeah, but, like, he's not really losing you fights turn one without it, right? Trio is better if you consider everything. Uh, leader skill, eh, I don't, I disagree. Uh, damage, defense, how they are helping the team. If you actually consider everything, I think the trio is better. I don't know about that. I, I, I can definitely tell you for sure the leader skill is not better. Uh, physical trio makes the bad units good. Beast is only protect them. Physical trio solos, yeah. That's what uh, everyone seems to be saying here. Um, I say being permanently anchored in slot one and never having to worry about that character is helping the team for more than one turn, but that's just my opinion. I'd say Beast, but if I have to choose between they're actually having fun or the Beast the Trio, I choose the Trio every day of the week. Uh, they are just so much more fun. Yeah, so, you know, we've done about 17 minutes of replies here, and I'm sorry if I didn't get to all of them. There's a lot in here. But uh, the kind of uh, gist here, uh, I guess we can look at the quotes very quickly. I think um, one of our fav... One of the... <laughs> One of the bigger Twitter accounts did interact with this one that isn't named Mr. Baby, but we'll look at some of these. Uh, Gohan can protect the team one more turn, but if you aren't lame and use items, uh, the Super Saiyan trio clears. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really, items aren't really coming into discussion here. It's not because I think like items are like, you can't use items, but I also think it's like when evaluating a unit individually for performance, we don't want to consider that, right? Support will always be the most valuable asset in any gacha game, especially as a free to play player who can't pull every character. I mean, yeah, that's valid, but it's also like not the discussion. Um, Gohan is better as a standalone tank, yeah. Uh, Gohan's better, more valuable. Yeah, so it seems to be the same verdict here. Beast better, go trio more valuable, and more fun to use. That's what uh, people are saying here. Now, uh, Vector, this is, the, this is the quote tweet I was looking for. If I wanted to run the same team 10 times and get the highest win rate, I would probably go for Beast. I don't want to do that, though, and I don't see the point in doing that. I want to do wacky stunts, so I'm taking the Super Saiyans. Doing, yeah, and that's why that's why like it being a PVE game is so such a beautiful thing where you can just get away with doing wacky stunts and losing because it's not like you know you're losing to another player or some like the, the boss is using the meta right like it's, it doesn't matter you can just do whatever you want like that's that is the most fun part of this game right so um, I appreciate all of the interaction here I don't want to make this video like 45 minutes long going over literally every reply so if I didn't get to all of you uh, I again I am greatly appreciative of the support my tweets usually don't. Uh, Pull in numbers like this. Some of you might be looking like that, like that. That's rookie numbers, but for me, it's decent. So I appreciate all of you guys uh, sitting through this with me. Uh, if you guys want to leave your input down below on which character you think is better, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to leave a like on this video before you do. Uh, before you go and subscribe if you are new so you don't miss out on any on the Dokkan content, we are on the road to 10K. See it right here. We are at over 9,000 right now. So we are definitely looking to get to 10,000 soon. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, do all that fun stuff down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.